In this video, I'm going to share with you the top 11 most useful Canva tips and tricks that you can actually apply to your workflow right away to become a better designer today. But before I start discussing all the tips and hacks, I just want to let you know that we at the SSM Academy have taken an initiative called the Digital Marketing T2 series in which we will be sharing various useful digital marketing tips and hacks on every Tuesday right here on the SSM Academy YouTube channel. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on notifications too so that you will be the first to know of any new videos that you are going to post on this channel. So with that said, I want to share with you the top 11 Canva tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I started using Canva. So the number one tip that I want to share with you is how you can design beautiful mockups using smart mockups. So one of the best features that I like about Canva is that they have a huge range of book covers or you know ebook covers or magazine covers or whatever you call it. So if you just simply search for ebook cover. You will see a range of ebook covers right here. So, if uh, any one design seems like good, what I can do is I can just click on it and start editing to it, right? And then I can uh, kind of use it to anywhere that I want. However, the problem with this is that you are stuck with this uh, kind of 2D flat booking cover right so if you want to make it more realistic more professional like an actual book cover you can use a tool called smart mockups and the good news is that canva already includes this smart mockups feature so as soon as you finish with your designing what you have to do is just click on this uh, share button and just click on more and if you scroll down you will see an option called smart mockups just click here and just click on save super now what you have to do is just go to smartmockups.com and just uh, sign up for a free account or you can also sign up for a premium account if that sounds cool to you However, in my case, I will uh, go with the free free option or, you know, the free version. So let me just sign in. So once you're signed in, just go to all mockups and from the left menu, uh, just click on books. So now you could see now you are limited to uh, depending upon what sort of plan you have signed up for. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to choose any of the free options that are here. And you can see the pro ones that has a lock icon at the left bottom, left top corner, right? So now what you have to do is you can also filter the search results uh, in the way that you want. In my case, I want to choose any of the free options that are here. So if I scroll down. Uh, let's say let's say I, I, I want this one so whatever uh, mock-up seems like good to you you can just click on it and start editing to it now you will see an option under book cover upload from just click on it and you will get an option called Canva just select just click on Canva and you will get to see all the templates that you have saved uh, you know from Canva right so you can just click on that specific uh, book cover and now you can uh, also crop your image sometimes it may not fit so just adjust it the way that you want and once you are done you can just click on crop and continue fine so now uh, you can just click on this download button to get it downloaded and you can use it anywhere that's fine for you The next tip that I want to share with you is when you are working with multiple layers, you will come across layers that are quite close together, something like this. Now let's say if I want to select the middle layer, sometimes it 
can be challenging right so what you can do here is if you are a windows user hold the control key and just click on left mouse and this way you can select whatever layer you want to you could see if i click the left mouse then that will then select the le next layer behind it and if i click again that will select the you know layer behind that as well right so as you could see my uh, layer has been selected and now i can do whatever i want to like changing colors or you know uh, dragging it to anywhere i can do whatever i want to the next tip that i want to show you is how to add a gradient effect to the background so this is very simple what you have to do is just simply go to elements and just search for gradient now what you want to look for is any sort of uh, square element and now what i will do is i will uh, you know drag it from top to bottom so that it covers all the way from top to bottom of my design and now of course if i want to change color what i can do is i can just simply click here and i can choose whatever color i want now let's say yeah this way right so now uh, you can also make the gradient start the other way so what you have to do is just click on it and just click on flip and you can just rotate it this way now another way to do the same is you can actually see this rotate button and you can just rotate it the next step that i want to show you is how you can add a shadow effect on your text so it's as simple as selecting the text so let me just add a text widget and maybe i will write the assessum academy and now it's as simple as to select the text and click on effects and you will see a option called shadow and now what you can do is you can change the color you can uh, you know make it more blur you can uh, walk on transparency you can change the direction angle and all the things you can do a really simple way to add a text widget instead of going to text and then you know click the uh, text widget is as simple as just click the t button and a text widget will be added to your design now you can make it uh, big you can make it small you can change the color or you can you know do whatever you want to now the next step if you use any uh, specific colors on a regular basis it's a really good and time saving idea is to use the brand kit feature so that you can get all the uh, colors saved at all the time over here like mine as you could see so you could see i've got all the colors which i personally use on a regular basis so now to get your color like this what you have to do is just visit the home page and just click on brand kit okay so in the free version you can add up to three colors so now you can add whatever color you want to right now if i go to my design let's refresh the screen see here all my colors has been added here now the next step i want to share with you is how you can group text or elements so let's say i want to group this two elements together so what i can do is i can just uh, select the first element and by, then by pressing the shift key on my keyboard i will see like the second element and the third as well and let's say this one as well this one as well and this one so now to group all these elements what you have to do is just select all those elements and just click on group
and it's all grouped together right now i can move it to anywhere that i want and it won't lose its position right now to ungroup it simply click on any of those elements and just click on this ungroup button and you are done next step that i want to teach you is how you can use templates so this is especially useful if you have some social media templates that you usually use let's say you create quotes you publish stats or you know you publish any sort of updates or news on a regular basis and you uh, kind of stick to only one specific design or uh, a couple of designs so this is the way that i would highly suggest you to do so so what you have to do is let's say uh, this is my final template right so now what you have to do is just click on this save and click on more and just click on save to folder button now you can either create a new folder so if you want to create a new folder let's name the folder i will maybe name it as uh, marketing and just click on add to new folder now whenever you want this uh, specific template or to use your template for next time what you have to do is just visit the home page of canva and here just click on your projects and here is where you will get all the folders that you have saved right now if i click on this folder i can uh, select any templates and i can start editing so now you can actually edit uh, this template without affecting the original one the next step that i want to show you is how to duplicate any element in the most shortest way possible so let's take this tree as an example let's say i want to duplicate this so in general it is as simple as just select the text and just click on this duplicate button to get it duplicated right so now there is a shortcut for this what you can do is just select your element and just press control plus d and just like that i have duplicated the element and even foster method is to hold the alt key and just drag it to anywhere that you want and it will it's now duplicated now the next step that i want to show you is how to create that highlight or you know stroke effect around an image so you may have seen this in many 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 social media post so anyway to do that what you have to do is just uh, let me get an image at first i will just search for a random keyword uh, let's say i will walk on this image so whatever image you want uh, just upload the same and now let me remove the background so this is a canva pro feature so if you are a uh, free canva user what you can do is you can use any external tool and there is something called remove.bg which can actually help you to remove your photo background in just a single click so once you are uh, done with the uh, you know Uh, background remove what you can do is you can uh, upload back your image to canva and start doing what i am showing you in this video so as you could see my image uh, background is being removed so now what i can do is i will just copy the image let me back remove the background of this image as well just click on apply see here so now select the back image and click on effects or click on edit image and here make sure to select dio tone and choose any of the effects and now click again on the control icon and make the highlight as white shadow will be also white fine now of course uh, i have to change the color of the background so that it stands out so i will make it as maybe red fine see here 
so another way to do the same is let me copy the image and i will paste it to a new uh, template and now what you have to do is just click on edit image and go to shadows click on glow and click on the control icon and now maybe the color would be white and the blur i will keep it as maybe one transparency would be 100 and now you can uh, control the size see here so that's how easy it is to add a stroke effect to your image the next step that i want to share with you is how you can come up with a qr code to add to your graphics so that whenever someone will scan the code they will be redirected to your website right so to do that what you have to do is just click on this more icon and here is where you will get an option called qr code if you click on that and now you just have to you know enter the url so maybe let's say i will add this url just simply paste it here and just click on generate code and it's done so now you can add this QR code to any of your graphics or wherever you want to see here. Whenever someone will scan the scan this specific keyword, they will be redirected to this particular web page. So there we go. The most useful 11 Canva tips and tricks that you can actually apply to your workflow to save more time and be more productive as well so if you learned anything useful here make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button below and make sure to turn on notifications too so that you don't miss out on any tips tricks or hacks that you are going to share over here so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video